Nein, er steht. Great effort. Nicely done. Let's slow this guy down, all right? It's, it's your game tonight. Hey, MP, I got some film. That's ridiculous. He's been on an absolute tear. Guess we gotta knock him off his rhythm then. Exactly. Hot streaks are mostly confidence. We shake his. Hot streak over. You know, everyone's been playing him the same way. But if we, can I see that clipboard? Yeah, here, yeah. what, what do you got? All right, check this out. So what I'm thinking. Have a great game, boss. As they gear up for this challenge on the road, a look at the Cavs team bus getting to the arena. It's all business for these guys tonight. Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Ali LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. And the Cleveland starting five. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the three, the small forward. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Then there's Damian Lillard, then it's Chris Middleton, and it's Magician in a shooting guard. So Cleveland will get first possession. 
We'll be keeping an eye on the front courts in this one. Both teams very skilled at the four and the five, Clark. And you know what? It's a nice contrast in this age of small ball and positionless basketball. It's good to see the front court players thriving and making it happen. Now here's Lillard. Lopez in the post. Allen defending. Lopez passes to the magician. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for two. The first one falls. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. Allen outside. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Allen. Out to Mobley. Launches a three. Can't hit. One for two now. Lillard looking around. Here's Ana Kumpo. To the paint. The shot by Magician, no good. Cleveland has gone one or two from three point land so far. Garland with the ball, guarded by Ana de Kumpo. Down low. And Mobley throws it down. And that's easy pickings right there. Leave someone that wide open, and Mitchell's not going to miss them. Lillard against Garland. Here's Magician. Cavaliers with a rebound. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. It's tipped. Oh, stolen by Lillard. Count it. One for one to start the game. Inside, Lillard can deliver. He's a skilled finisher. To the middle. Here's Struess. Down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Magician. Mobley grabs the board. You know, that's not a great matchup, guys. He forced it against outstanding defense. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Middleton with it. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And here's Lillard. The wide open shot is on the money. Lillard's got his second basket of the game. I'll tell you, he is just the focal point of this offense. Lillard, I mean, just so diverse in the many ways that he can score. It was stolen by Lillard. Here's Magician. Lillard, left side. Three-pointer. The shot, no good. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Inside, here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen's got some old school big man in him. He's got great hands and mobility and does a good job finishing above the rim. Timeout called, Milwaukee. A different look for Cleveland. Morris, he's checked in for Evan Mo to start the game. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. They've got Bobby Portis, Patrick Beverly out there with Malik Beasley. 
Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Magician in at the small forward position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Boy, Karis LeVert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability, which helps him and his team. Beverly, the pass to the Magician. Count that bucket. And I'm looking forward to seeing MP tonight. He's got a really tough matchup. His opponent has been on fire lately. A tall task for MP. He'll have to put in major work on the defensive end. Lavert, that's good. Lavert's gotten his first basket of the night. What a tough make that was by Lavert. Refused to be denied and great concentration. Middleton outside. Pass to Magician. Oh, it's stolen by Lavert. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Patrick Beverly. And you know, the athletic Levert makes these forays to the goal and does a good job drawing fouls in the process. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And on top of that, they've been dialed in from deep. And if they keep it up, it could be a big night for them. Lillard's checked in for the Bucks, And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does everything. His teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. Special talent, Allie, and a special person. Thanks for that. Outside Mitchell. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. Well, Clark, we know what Bobby Portis brings to the table. He loves the ball. Yeah, he does, and he does it with a smile, with great passion and energy, and we do know that he'll give you double-digit points, and he'll stretch the floor with his three-point shooting. Anadokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks, And Cleveland with a change here, too. Garland's checked in. From deep, Mobley. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds now. Struce against Lillard to the inside. Here's Magician. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And as we continue through January, here are the latest power rankings. Taking a look at Boston. They slipped a bit. Still in the top ten, though. When I look at Milwaukee, they're still trying to find a way to play to their full potential. In a holding pattern of sorts right now. But that could change with a couple good games. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Levert's checked in. Struess against Anadokounmpo. Struess finds Allen. Just five on the clock. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards is really been something to watch and the game's not over yet we'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch Cleveland has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter pass to LeBert with a nine footer and it's off the back of the rim no good and it's Lillard with a ball for the Bucks. trailing by two defeated by Detroit in their last game they'll try to put that one behind them they hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Now here's Struess. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. From deep, Mobley gets the three ball to go. Mobley's got 10 points. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. To the middle. Here's Magician. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. 
I say let those triples fly. Yeah, great vision. I mean, this is where Garland takes it to another level offensively. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by five. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Welcome, everyone, as we dig into the details, things working out so far for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Offensively, they've been impressive. Working together, you can tell this team has great chemistry. Kind of like us, you know, here in the studio, but not quite at that level. And that's not meant to be an insult. Some would say our chemistry is, uh, how did you put it, Shaq? Unmatched. And now a subject that's always of Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Evan Mobley really making a difference here. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Well, Clark, is it just me, or have we seen a little bit of a resurgence in zone defense in the NBA the last few years? Yeah, I think you're um, spot on there. It is a little more used and a little more part of the toolkit of coaches now in the NBA zone defense is in part because teams are stretching you out with the three-point shot from every position and every spot on the floor and so it's a nice wrinkle to perhaps stretch it out defensively by playing zone where you have guys covering those perimeter spots from an area standpoint instead of just an individual man standpoint on the court for the Cavaliers and a lot of size for them with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the three. Pass to Magician. And here's Lillard over to the left wing. Here's Kumpo. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. With the threat of his drive where he's lethal, the defense has to live with Giannis shooting the mid-range jump shot. Down low, here's Mobley. Damian Lillard with a rebound. The Bucks trail. 90 seconds into the second half now. Pass to Magician. Inside. Good D by Mobley. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. First team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, no good on the free throw. On the very short list of franchise-level guards, Donovan Mitchell can take over a game with his scoring ability. Cleveland has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Magician, pass to Lillard. Mitchell against Honor de Kumpo. To the paint. Here's Magician. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds now. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, Evan Mobley still is just scratching the surface, but already he is making his mark in the most important way. Coach Bickerstaff said he's a winner. Fourth quarter's big moments. He just finds a way to help finish ball games and to make the play. Evan just makes the right play to help us win, he said. Brian? Uh, no doubt. He's a star on the rise, Allie. Thanks for that. Back to Middleton. Bank 
banked it in off the glass. I know how unflappable Middleton is. Receiving the contact on the way up and not bothered at all. Garland finds Mitchell. From outside the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Oh, look at Giannis power in. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo. My goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Mitchell against Antetokounmpo. Here's Mobley. Mobley. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Cavaliers lead by 10. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Timeout called the Bucks. And the Bucks making a change here. Beverly's checked in. Morris, he's checked in for the Cavs. Karras. Cleveland has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Damian Lillard out there with Patrick Beverly. Then it's Danilo Gallinari. Then it's Bobby Portis. And it's Magician in at the three. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Boy, guys, it's so good to see somebody still taking advantage of the mid-range. Levert with the bucket. Portis outside. Inside. Tries to break his ice. Out to Beverly. Clock at four. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Here's Magician. They get the rebound. Out to Beverly. To the inside. Here's Magician. And finally, they hit one. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And here's Levert for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Lillard outside. The drive by Lillard. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And you know, Damian Lillard has such a quick release. Excellent at getting his shot up and over the defense inside. Lillard right side. Puts it up. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got nine rebounds now. Mitchell against Beverly. Here's Magician. That one a little long. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here's Merrill. Defended by Lillard. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris and the Cavaliers lead by 13. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. And the Bucks with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Gallinari. Anadokounmpo comes in for Portis. And Chris Middleton is subbed in for Beverly. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Morris. Connects again from distance. And would you believe he's nearing fourth place for most three-pointers of all time? Believe it. Not only does he have the talent, but he never stops working on a shot. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. The Bucks have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Lillard passes to the Magician. Now here's Middleton. Covered by Struess. To the middle. Here's Magician. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Mitchell. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. On the wing, Struess. Outside Garland. Oh, there's the alley! And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Oh, don't let Giannis in! How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Mitchell against Anadokounmpo. Allen with a screen on Anadokounmpo. The floater. Rebounded by Lopez. The Bucks have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Pass to Lillard. 
Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. And that's unselfishness right there. Full display. Giannis wanting to get it to open teammates. Garland against Lillard. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Garland, the pass to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And that's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Pass to Lopez. Back to Lillard. Down low. The shot by Magician. No good. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Lillard finds Middleton from deep. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. I'll tell you what. I mean, it feels like Middleton can shoot from anywhere, but he's especially deadly from the corner. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. On the wing, Struess. Three-pointer, no good. Man, that's his shot. But <laughs> maybe he was too wide open. Pass to Magician. Back to Anadokounmpo. Magician. The pass to Lillard. To the paint. Here's Magician. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four! Man, the attitude of Anadokounmpo. Really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. No, he got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. Getting to the line more since his career has gone on, Garland, a deployable free throw shooter. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. And he buries it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. The stakes don't shake Lillard at all. He stays cool and finds the clutch basket. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. And so both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. Coming up clutch there at the line, making it a two-possession game. On to Kumpo for three. Oh, he buries it from outside. Love that from Anta Kumpo. No hesitation. Cleveland calls timeout. They're ahead by two. Just four seconds left in the game. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. So the first one drops. And that makes it a three-point lead. A leader on this team. These guys trust Mitchell to come up huge at the line. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. Here's Lillard. Missed it. And so the big win by Cleveland in a tight game.
ball didn't bounce your way tonight. Those guys got lucky. Hey, what's up for dinner tonight? I might take home one of the chicken chips. I don't know if I could give you any specific training advice. Everyone's different, you know? Yeah, but she's been around a while, so you must have picked up a few patterns of what the greats do. That's what I'm saying, though. You'd be surprised how varied guys' routines can get. If I were you, I'd just try out a whole bunch of stuff and keep what works. The only thing the greats have in common is how much work they put in. Hmm, I hear that. But you gotta give me a little something. I mean, what are you into these days? Honestly, lunges. Lunges? Lunges, man, I'm telling you. You can do them walking around your house with a kettlebell, out, just lunge everywhere. I mean, man, what kind of technique you use? You get the, I mean, the mid lunge, you got the low lunge? I say, saying. mix it up, because that's how you're going to create more athleticism, explosive. Wow. Look out there and pee. Go get him, Tiger. Do you mind if I call you Tiger? Yeah, it's kind of weird, I guess. I won't. Those kicks, MP. Prison. Oh, that's a good one, too. MP. CJ. I want to introduce you to Tamika Tramalio, Executive Director of the National Basketball Players Association. Ms. Tramalio, nice to meet you. Such a pleasure. Please call me Tamika. No doubt. Yes, ma'am. So we're here to talk union, right? That's right. And now that we're all here, so let's get to it. Cool, I'm ready. So the Players Association in its simplest terms is here to protect, support, and amplify the players. We make sure that you are taken care of while the ball's still bouncing and then post-career as well. When Tamika says we, she means me and you and everyone who plays in this league. It's a brotherhood. We look out for each other and the union helps us achieve our goals. That's right, I'm elected by you, the players, to lead the union on your behalf. We exist by and for the players, and we advocate on behalf of the players. We look after their best interests, all of the NBA players. Before the union, however, players did not receive the same benefits that they actually receive today. 
it's not just contract stuff either. The PA has all kinds of ways to support what you do outside the NBA. Charity work? Business ventures, my favorite thing. All of the players have an and. They are exceptional players and they do something else. So what's your and? Oh, um, I have to think on that a little more. Good to know that you're there for support, though. If you have any questions about any of this, always reach out to your player rep. And as one of the brightest young talents in this league, you would make a great player rep yourself. Player reps represent their respective teams. They gather information and they take it back to their teams. You actually speak on behalf of your teammates and you are integrally involved. We encourage you to be involved in this. You're someone that people would really look up to. Well, like I said, this all sounds great. Appreciate you taking the time to walk me through this. Of course. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you again. Thank you.